welcome to The Sheer Luck Show. I'm Olivia Wayne and I am thrilled to be back in the hot seat with a great show for you. From fashion to interiors to health and beauty, there is something for everyone. First up, we're taking a deep dive into the accessories of Ebony Francis, creative director of Free People. She's showing us her favorite bags and shoes and how to style them. Then, Adiola Boyega is here to show us the best products to achieve glowing skin in our body beauty routine, from exfoliation to hand masks, she has it covered. The woman who inspired the whole tablescaping phenomena, Bryony Sheridan, buying manager at Liberty London and has the most insane eye, is showing us how to style three very different dining looks just in time for bank holiday weekend entertaining. You are not going to miss that one. And finally, health advocate Karen Koramanshai and fitness guru Toby Huntington Whiteley are giving us their tips on how to keep up our summer health habits as we move into a new season. But first, it's things we love with Tor and Polly. Girls, it's great to be back. It is a treat to be here with you. It's so lovely to see you all glowing and gorgeous as always. Thank you. I'm going to tell you all about those products. No, not yeah, no. <laughs> I want to know. Tell me about yours because you know I love a snack. Oh love my God. me an almond, a peanut, a cashew. Mm. Yeah. What have you got? Well, you're going to want to try this. So, this is called The Curators. The brand is called The Curators and they are smoky barbecue almonds, mm. which, you know, I kind of tried on a whim. Like, it came with my Mindful Chef box as a freebie and I was like, I'm just hungry, I need to eat something. But I opened these up and my God, they taste <laughs> insanely good. I think, like, I love crisps and, like, any kind of snack like that, but this just feels like slightly more nutritious. An elevated savoury snack. Yeah, yeah elevated yeah. snack. So, yeah. like, nice to just have mid Yeah, I like an elevated I snack. I hope that is the tagline on them. I mean, I should tell them that. But maybe. wait, <laughs> are you <laughs> pounding a pack in the sitting? I mean, yes, I am pounding a pack, but they're in, I think it's like 200 calories a pack, which is essentially like a pack of crisps. Uh, yeah, but, so it is a snack pack. It's yeah. like a giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could obviously buy more, and then if you wanted to, like, serve them up for, you know, mates coming round or something, I think that'd be quite a nice idea. But, yeah, I'm definitely sitting down and having a little pack of mm. something, but they're delicious and just feels just slightly posher slightly nicer than my usual bag of hummus crisps i have at lunchtime so hummus crisps that sounds very posh i know to actually me. that oh, sounds a bit bougie it, doesn't it, it? yeah <laughs> so, okay um, and then yeah. to cover up all that gorgeous snacking mm. you've got something cuddly to show yeah so obviously <laughs> i'm kind of sad that you know autumn is approaching but i'm starting to get into the mindset of thinking about Mm. things to buy for the new season and on Sunday I have to admit I was a bit hungover and thinking like I need something cozy I need something a little bit comforting to buy and I sort of impulse bought this but I'm so glad I did it and I just absolutely it I it. those exquisite buttons yes. are amazing it's and that so double pretty. button at the bottom it I feels know. so different I, I know, love it's so that. gorgeous and it's just like the material is so is lovely it wool and cozy. Yeah, it is wool. Yeah. So if you're sort of sensitive to that, then it might be a little bit itchy for you. But can I touch it? Oh, yeah, can I just can touch talk it? about American Vintage? I want to touch it too. Friend. See, nice. Okay, yeah, American just, Vintage though, oh, without so a doubt, is the best knitwear yeah. jumpers you will yeah, ever yeah, yeah. find. Really, so, they do have the softest. Mm, I don't know so how soft. they do it. It's like a material mm. that no one else mm. on the planet yeah, yeah, manages yeah. to emulate. But totally, I would highly recommend them. That yeah. It's that a look. Is, yeah, it's that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, it's like slightly more expensive, a bit more of an investment, but to me, it, the quality is amazing. It looks really cool on. I got a size extra small slash small in case people are wondering what to go for. And that to me it's, is just yeah. slightly boxy, but not too oversized. And I'm size eight to 10 usually. So spot on for me. Oh, I love it. It's, it's gorgeous. So I love that. And finally, a little book. Yes, a book. You're having a read. I know. And I have to say, like, I'm slightly nervous talking about books because I'm not a massive reader. But when I do get into books, I really, really love them. And this one is called We Need to Talk About Money by Ortega Uwagba, who is a writer that I really like. She talks kind of about social issues. She's written a couple of books before. And this one is about, obviously, about money, which I think is super interesting because money is one of those things, I think, as British people, we just don't really talk totally about. Totally taboo. Totally And she talks so honestly about money and sort of finances and salaries and the kind of complications that come with money, you know, down to race or your gender or your class and things like that. And I just found it so, so interesting. I've not that quite finished good. it yet because I am the world's slowest reader. But, you know, if you want to feel empowered, maybe as a woman in the workplace to, you know, ask for a higher salary, things like mm. that, then this is the book for you. I just so it's really, really enjoy it. A little it. bit of like a guide navigating yes. a tricky topic. Yeah, for sure. So it's like a memoir come oh, right. kind of, you know, social commentary sort of book. But Amazing. I really like that blend of the two because she sort of reflects on her own personal experiences. But then, it, makes it, it makes it more relatable then, doesn't it? Yeah, as well? and she's also really sort of well-researched in, you know, 
the kind of things that come behind mm. it and she references a lot of different studies and things like that so you feel like you're really kind of mm. becoming smarter and getting clued up for it. Does so. she teach you how to not just spend all your money on clothes and things? <laughs> Sadly not because I'm still... Because if she still... doesn't have that chapter, I would highly recommend she write I mean, another. that's clearly not worked yeah. for me, has it? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Mental yeah. note, get to that chapter quicker. Exactly. Mm. exactly. Okay, Tor, <laughs> hi. hi. Again, it's been a minute since I've seen you. I mean, yeah. And I'm sure it's been referenced many times, but congratulations on your thank stunning you. wedding. Thank you, thank you. Um, but let's get to your topics, because yep. I bet you got some good ones. Um, a drowsy sleep mark. Ooh. And I wish I had this with me. It, I left it at home. Um, I hope there's an asset so you can all see it on the screen, but it is the most amazing sleep mask. So I don't know if you guys use a sleep mask, but this one has a massive Velcro thing at the back. So it stays on your head when you sleep. Oh. And it is made from the, the world's th almost as thick as the cardigan, like plush, plush silk. And it's like wearing a hug in a mask and it is just, it blacks out 100% of the light and it's so soft on your wow. skin. I, you, and can you not, because I could sleep, I've slept in nightclubs on the speaker. Like sleep is not a problem <laughs> for me. But if you can't sleep, is it a yeah. really big help? I've got into, I don't know quite when it started, but I've got into a bit of a habit of wearing one. So now it's almost like a bit of a routine thing. Mm. And then I tried this and I was like, oh my God, game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Really? And it's them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I really hate that because yeah. you get a bit sweaty or yeah, I mean, yeah, and I always worry about like my creams and things. Yeah, but I, yeah. I, I personally would hand wash it. Um, okay, but if you're confident to put it in the machine, then do. Mm. Um, but such a good brand, I really recommend. Drowsy, okay. yeah, Drowsy awesome. Mm. Cool. Um, a new restaurant you frequented? Yes, a new restaurant I've been out and about is Deliciously Ooh. Ella's new uh, Plants by De. I didn't quite know what to expect from this place. Oh my god, it blew my mind. And really? I'm not vegan. I do try to eat a lot of plants, but. I cannot tell you how good the food was. Oh, wow. I've never really seen vegetables and plants made, ta made to taste so kind of like opulent and yeah. just delicious. So, I mean, the food is amazing, but my main course, I had a cauliflower schnitzel. Oh. Oh my God. Really? So good. And it was one of those places where I know I could like, as I sat there with my sister, we were like, we could like bring the husbands here. Like it's so... Yeah. Well, that's kind of, always the, the marker, isn't right? it? For like the meat and veg. Yeah, kind of like I did not feel deprived in any way possible. This this schnitzel was like really like breadcrumb and delicious. It came with like a slaw and we, and we had like a cashew slaw. and miso mac and cheese. Like oh. delish. Wow. Amazing wine list, really cool cocktails. It's quite like a chill vibe. Yeah, um, what, and where is it? It's just behind Bond Street Tube. It's okay. a really good location. Yeah. yeah. And they do brunch and, and coffee, like all day stuff as well. Does so. she do all her like balls and that stuff? Or is it a restaurant? It's, it's a not a cafe at all. No, it used to be a cafe. And now it's definitely more of like a Ooh. dining experience. Oh, that's mm. exciting. And it is entirely vegan. Yeah. That's so good. Because yeah. then everyone can yeah. enjoy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Really recommend. Mm. Yeah. And finally, you have something with you. I do have something with me. This is Equi's original formula. So I started taking this about mm, two, maybe two, three weeks ago because the amount of people I speak to who recommend this. Are what like, is it? It's a supplement. It's a powder supplement. So you mm. add it to, you add like one big tablespoon to water and mix it in. Mm. Um, and they also do it in capsules if you don't like the taste of kind of like funky wellness supplements. <laughs> it has got quite like a kind of like berry green taste to it. It's Does it not, taste definitely. like that algae taste? That I can't tolerate. Anything sweet, else like kind of sweet algae. But it is it, like I like that kind of like purifying taste. Yeah. And it, I mean, I don't know if you can see. I'll show you afterwards the list of ingredients. Yeah, it's pretty long. It like ticks so many boxes, which is why I love it because I don't okay. have to take a hundred supplements. Um, and what is it? What like what would you take it for specifically? Everything. Oh, okay. Everything. Um, it's basically the the two women behind the brand. They designed it for women who live busy busy lives. Who were like. Stress, not eating well, not sleeping well. Who want to like basically raise all those kind of oh, things in okay. my life. Um, um, do you remember the Elle McPherson one? What was that? Called? Yeah, her it's, protein. It's, it yeah. was like a green. Is it similar? Yeah. Is it like a similar? But this has a lot. That's more kind of protein based. Right. This has definitely got more nutrients, and it's also got things that you might not necessarily take in a supplement, like mm. turmeric. Loads of adaptogens. Um, it's got probiotics in it. Oh, all the like, things. Yeah. Literally, you name really it, good. it's in here. Wow. And yeah. is it all kind of really vegan, well sourced, not chemical? Yeah. No all nasties. The things. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I have to say, I have noticed how my skin has got very soft. Has yeah. it? I don't quite know what it is, but yeah, I have noticed. Mm. And it's rare for me to like notice like a change in that. Um, yeah, in that time frame. Mm. Mm. Huh. Okay. As Rover we bees. all quickly yeah. add to yeah. cards. Right. Not, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Is that yeah. genuinely They're really important. good? Really, really good. Okay, so I'll just whip through mine because <laughs> why not? So we sold our house and we found a house and we're on the process of signing on the dotted line. So now I'm in interiors headspace yeah. massively mm -hmm. overwhelmed and I have like 8,000 photos in my phone mm -hmm. of like inspo. 
but this one chair keeps popping up and it's oh. Zara. Oh, wow. And it's a boucle. Is it a white one? I yes. Say, I feel like I've seen it. Yes. Of course you have. So good. But it's so reasonable. Yeah. You know? I mean, buy it before you bought it. Well, this yeah, is the quick, problem. Quick. We're not there yet and we've got a lot of work to do. Mm. Like, so I'm a bit like, well, I store said chairs, yeah. but want said chairs, so I might have to. Yeah. But they're I really nice and they're obviously copies of well-known, mm. uh, you know, interiors specialists and whatever and designers but to be honest great great mm. price tag yeah I think it's like 199 pounds yeah. something the chair which so is good, good. So good. Anyway, you know um <laughs> right i'm not vegan but <laughs> we stumbled across this vegan aioli is that how you say it yeah aioli aioli whatever garlicky mayo deliciousness but it's vegan mm. and it's called follow your heart Jeez. and it is so delicious so let me just whip you up a quick recipe. What you want to do is get a nice chunky sourdough, toast it, mm -hmm. slather on the God, aioli. It's making me hungry. You want to get turkey bacon because that is our Ooh, new also found thing. Okay. Is, that really like a, is that like a, for like a lower fat thing? It's much yeah. better for you. It's turkey. Yeah, but is it yeah. nice? Oh my God, it's delicious. Yeah. When yeah. I used to live in Canada, that's all we had, turkey mm. bacon. And then I never saw it. And now I can get it on ah. Ocado and all other, mm. you know, <laughs> whatever, shopping websites. So turkey bacon, chunky avocado, bit of lime, maybe some olives, mm. smush that all together. And let me tell you. Oh, that's amazing. It's an, and also if there's extra bread crust, just dip it in oh. that bowl. It's so good. Can one so, get this on a cardo as well? Sainsbury, everywhere. It's like very reasonably priced and very accessible and very game changing to all your food. Yeah. Also, if you just have like good olive bread, dip mm. it in. Oh, mm. yeah. Just I'm smash it on that. everything. I mean, honestly, it's a game changer. Sounds amazing. And finally, awesome. I've been watching a lot of television because, you know, life at the moment. <laughs> I recommend two shows. The first is Love, which is a Judd Apatow produced um, sitcom. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm -hmm. or, it's on Netflix. Yeah. There's three series. And it's just a very brilliantly, humorously, lovelily done production <laughs> of two very unlikely people finding love together and navigating their relationship. And it's a real Go on, just chuck another one in. Go on, 30 minutes, just yeah. do it. Really easy watching. I, love, I have so much time, I, literally, for a 30 minute episode. That's yeah, it. Yeah. No All one has time it. for like the hours, mm -hmm. or, you know. So, and you can always squeeze another one in. And it's really nice viewing in a couple because mm. everyone can benefit from it. Lots of sex talk and ha ha. And also, oh, like, okay. unrealistic, I think, views. Like, the girl just being like, wanna have sex? Like, really? She's just always <laughs> just offering it. And it's like, see? <laughs> no, that's not the reality. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> Very, very enjoyable viewing. <laughs> and then, quite different, Hit and Run, which is a very <laughs> suspenseful, have you watched that? No. Okay, that's no. another one. It's like number three on, on Netflix this is week. Or whatever. So we're like, okay, well then. Honestly, the first 10 minutes we were in, it's like everything you thought spun on its head. You know, man's wife gets killed and trying to understand why and who, mm -hmm. and it's brilliant. We're only like three episodes in, but hook, hook, hook. Really recommend that. Is it about Hit and Run? Hit and Run. That's what it says in the tin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much both. So much fun to chat and I feel like I need to get all of it. Next up, the woman who's inspired us to change up our tableware over the last year or so and be a bit more creative. Bryony Sheridan, buying manager at Liberty London, is showing us how to create three perfectly imperfect tablescapes for easy entertaining just in time for the weekend. Hi, I am Bryony Ray Sheridan and I am the home buying manager for Liberty. And today I'm going to show you how to tablescape. So first we start with tablecloth. Um, we're going to be using this really beautiful one from Ellen May Williams. It's been hand painted and hand speckled. So I always start placing my plates down and I'm going to do a table setting of four today. I'm using the beautiful hot pottery charger plates that have got the orange splatter. So adding fun glassware to a table is essential for that summer vibe. Here I'm going to be using some tumblers from By Alice and I'm going to mix them with a little bit more sort of a chic vibe from Sir Madam which is in the coloured glass. So one of my top tips for tablescaping is not to have glasses that are too tall because they fall over uh, and so having a wine glass that's a little goblet is perfect. And then when it comes to flowers, uh, these are really important for me for tablescape. I'm known for my maximalist aesthetic uh, and I always like to have some element of foliage or flowers on the table. Candles and candlesticks are 
absolutely a must at the moment. They seem to be a huge trend, but also they're just perfect for any table. I think it's really nice as you go into the summer evenings and there's a sort of twinkle of candlelight. And for me, I, this is where I like to add height. So it's not about blocking your view, but it's about having really nice pause moments on the table. I'm using a combination of the Maison Balzac um, candlesticks and then a sort of kaleidoscope of candles from Ferron, which are all hand dipped. So for this tablescape, I wanted it to be a little bit fresher and I've used the Heather Taylor Home beautiful green gingham check tablecloth. I've used the Vicel chargers and these I wouldn't necessarily eat off, but I think they add a really nice layer to the tablescape and of course have matched the napkin to the tablecloth, but uh, changed the color. So to make the napkins a little bit different, we have rolled them and folded them into a fan and then just place them with the Murano glass napkin holder. These are really clever because they lie flat, but they add quite a lot of drama. So adding some foliage to the table is essential and it doesn't always have to be a really luxury sort of bouquet. These are actually just snippets from the garden and herbs. Um, I particularly in the summer love using herbs on the table. I just think it's better than sort of a scented candle. Again, I haven't gone too high. I think you want to be able to see over your flowers. I've added in some really sweet and quite contemporary candlesticks here, just for a pop of color. Again, I've been really, really fun and playful with the glassware. So these Anna and Nina glasses are sort of mix and match colors. They're all sold individually, so you can really play. Um, and I think it's really important that, you know, you don't have to always buy new for a dinner party or a tablescape. And actually you can mix and match everything you've got at home. So the next tablescape is something that's probably one of my favorites, a really, really sort of strong maximalist vibe, a very cool floral tablecloth by Samuel and Bishop that um, we've designed with them exclusively. And here is the sort of concept of print play that we sort of live and breathe by, and I definitely uh, live and breathe by at home. Um, we've used the Cocoa and Wolf uh, with the Liberty print placemats. And so really focusing on a couple of colors in the tablecloth uh, and expanding that through the tablescape. Here you'll see that we've used Astrid of Let, the Parisian ceramic. I mean, this is what I collect at home and I have collected it for 14 years and it's definitely not one that you can come in and buy a whole table for, but it's so beautiful. And just a couple of bits of ceramic from the sort of milky glaze really add to the tablescape. So if you're having a longer party or a celebration over the summer, I often think it's nice to add little bits of fruit to the table. Not only does it look beautiful, but it's really nice for guests to sort of nibble on. I've kept it really simple with the cutlery and the glasses, um, as the table is quite full on. Welcome back. Now I have a real treat for the handbag lovers amongst you. The uber stylish Ebony Francis is showing us her standout accessories from her wardrobe and also what she styles them with. All the inspo you need for your next splurge. Take a look. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you 10 of my most favourite accessories. I have five bags and five pairs of shoes. 
I'm going to start the pull up and show you how to wear them and what I'm them for. For me, these are my beloved pieces. I love investing in accessories, but for me, they need to be seasonless, timeless, and go with everything in my wardrobe. Hope you enjoy. So this is my Dior Oblique Canvas Box Bag. It is my most special piece and adds a lot of joy. Um, it's a bag that I use when I have to do store visits or inspo days, days when I need to be kind of hands-free and have my personal belongings kind of safe um, to my body. Um, I don't wear a lot of print, so it does add print for me in an outfit, you know, with the repetitive um, Dior logo and the beautiful kind of navy colouring. And for me, this bag um, I bought when I kind of had a very great personal achievement, so it holds some amazing, great memories for me. So next is my Balenciaga graffiti bag, which I've had for quite a few years. I used to wear it more of a sports look vibe, was a true crossbody with maybe oversized denim and t-shirts, but I'm now deciding to wear it as a night out bag and more of an evening bag. This totem dress is one of my favorite go-to black dresses and I love kind of pairing them together. I've adjusted the metal part of the strap and kind of clipped it up to make it a bit more shorter. And I love that the hardware adds a more of a kind of, almost like a jewelry kind of element to this outfit. Um, and I love the kind of tougher metal detailing pairing back with this fluidity of the dress and I've just basically saved money by shopping my wardrobe and kind of just maybe reinventing a bag that I've had for quite a few years. So this is the Givenchy Antigona and for me it is the ultimate work bag. It took me a long time to find the right bag for me for work and um, there was a lot that were too big, there were a few that weren't the right shape um, but for me this is the perfect um, bag to carry everything that I need for a day at the office. I love the high shine black leather and the kind of clunky silver hardware. You can carry it as a top handle bag and call, almost sling it over my shoulder when things get too heavy. And it's just great for an outfit like this, which is super monochrome and real simple. The structure of the bag adds a kind of almost like polished, serious, um, almost a bit more of a sophistication to it. And it makes me feel real ready for the day. So this is my Gucci crossbody bag. I've had it for six years and it was a Christmas present from my mum. I used to wear it as a more of a going out evening bag, but as I haven't been going out, um, I've been wearing it more as a kind of photo shoot bag. Um, here I'm wearing a kind of a very typical photo shoot outfit. I've got great pockets in my overalls and in my blazer for all of my kind of styling kit and styling needs. I love the beautiful kind of vintage inspired print on it with the cooler modern hardware. And again, it's a great bag for all of your personal needs. It holds kind of my cars, my phone, and all of my lip products. And so this bag is probably my most worn and loved bag of all time. It is the Loewe Puzzle Bag, and this is the small size in black. This is a bag that I recommend to everyone that asks me for just the perfect, easy bag. I've had it, I've had it for a long time, um, and the quality is second to none. The craftsmanship and the design is just gorgeous. And this bag looks great, kind of slung over the body like a crossbody bag to make you feel super casual. Or as an evening bag, if you remove the crossbody strap and have it as a top handle, it looks amazing and real elegant. Um, it's a bag that I can rummage the stores in and then if I'm meeting friends um, afterwards, I can kind of put the strap inside and have it as a more of an evening bag and it is super, super versatile. So these are my Gucci Jordan loafers in this real beautiful chestnut brown. And for me, I've been recently wearing lots more kind of earthy colors, more kind of mushrooms and topes and biscuits. So these are the perfect shoe for an all tonal outfit. And even though I've had them for seven years, they still look brand new, which I think is a testament to the quality of the leather. I definitely look after these shoes. I kind of put them back in the box, polish them, really stuff them back with paper and make sure I get them resold every year. And obviously you may have seen that I love a menswear silhouette. So for me, this is the ultimate loafer, the ultimate kind of menswear and men's inspired shoe. I've worn them here with a very kind of oversized totem trench, real kind of easy denim and a white tee for a very simple outfit. So 
these are the row guy sandals and funny story i purchased them tried them on once at home returned them and then instantly regretted it and had to wait about six months for them to come back in my size they have done a new version of the sandal but this is the og style the cage detail is a little bit more extreme and the leather is more of a high shine black and these are my kind of more formal shoe. I probably wear them to a meeting with a department store to feel a little bit more polished and pulled together. Um, I'm wearing them here with a tailored look, a bit more of a tailored pant, and I'm always in a blazer. And they also look great with a great dress, mixing the two sensibilities together, more of a kind of chunkier masculine shoe paired back to a feminine dress. So these are my Balenciaga track trainers and out of the five pairs of shoes I'm showing you today, these are perhaps my most worn. I love all trainers but these are a real bold shape and I love that they're all black with a little touch of white. I used to wear them in a much more sportier way at the weekend with a jogger and maybe an oversized sweater but recently I've been loving wearing them back to tailoring and anyone that knows me knows I love wearing a blazer and I've worn them here with a kind of vintage men's suit. So I love the kind of extreme shoulders at the top, the extreme big sneaker, but with a tailored pant in the middle just to kind of balance the look. So these are the Chanel dad sandals and I've had them for about 18 months and I've pretty much worn them most days. So definitely I've got the cost per wear down. They do come in a variety of different colors and fabrics like denim and different leathers, but I chose the black leather as they go with everything in my wardrobe. I love the gold CC buttons. They kind of have a little bit more of a vintage inspired touch to them. And as I, as I wear a lot of gold jewelry, the hardware really does complement my usual daily pieces. They're very comfy for a sandal and are great for walking around the stores in London. And this summer I've definitely embraced wearing a lot more feminine girly dresses. So for me, wearing a more heavier, chunkier black sandal really does offset a more feminine girly silhouette and is totally more my style. So these are my Chanel rope sandals in this grey. They are my most recent purchase um, and I'm absolutely obsessed. For me, the colour is unique and goes with everything in my wardrobe. I love the subtle bling on the toe, but what I really appreciate most is this kind of lovely wool texture. I think this detail really goes well with my vintage blazer here. And um, this outfit I'd probably wear to a creative meeting to meet with other kind of photographers and production teams. I feel very pulled together. I'm very smart, but it also adds a little bit of my personality. This is definitely an investment in a sandal, but I know I'll wear them every year. So thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed seeing some of my accessories. I feel really inspired and I hope you too. I've got some great new outfits that I'm probably going to wear in the next couple of weeks upcoming. Um, it's been so nice to get this out and dress up and have fun. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching and for more, please follow me on Instagram at Emily Louise. Thanks so much, Ebony. That was just heaven. I've got my eye on that Dior bag. It was all to die for. Now, next up, wellness guru Karen Coramshai and trainer Toby Huntington-Whiteley, yep, Rosie's little bro, have teamed up to talk us through their tips and tricks to keep our healthy summer habits as we slowly move into a new season. Sheerlucks, I'm Karen Crumshy. I'm a model, chef, and a huge wellness advocate. We're here today with Toby over lunch to share with you guys some of our top amazing tips on how to transition into the autumn period. And I'm also here to share with you guys this amazing smoothie recipe, which is called the summer pudding recipe. So Toby, what would you say would be your top tips? What would be your first tip on uh, transitioning? Well I recommend a fitness tracker. Yeah. I use my Apple Watch and I think it's really helped me, especially after lockdown, get me back on track of everything. Uh, especially now I'm spending a little bit more time in front of a computer than in the gym. And just to complete my fitness rings that mm -hmm. are on the Apple Watch really helps me and keeps on top of it. It makes me make sure that I'm standing up every hour. You know, it doesn't have to be an Apple Watch, but some sort of smart kind of tracker yeah. can really help you and keep on top and help you motivate. Keeps you accountable, yeah, doesn't it? Really, yeah. Really. Yeah. What are your tips then? You so one? I'd say sort of just be um, reboot and reevaluate things. Yeah. I think as we transition into the um, 
new season. Yeah. I think our behaviour has changed slightly. Right. Uh, we try to sort of, autumn coming up, we try to keep it indoors. Uh, we try to crave that indoors sort of feel. Okay. So I think it's really important for us to sort of re-establish strong routines. Yeah. Um, things like going back to school, just making sure that my, myself and my family, for example, are, you know, tracked in terms of wellness. Yeah. Um, whether that's consistent wake up, wake up time. Yeah. Um, making sure that your your lunches are pre-planned, um, making sure your sleep hygiene is, is focused um, and things like that. I think it just makes makes you more aware of, you know, this is your time to pause yeah. and just, just go from there, really. That's, that's a great tip. As another way that I keep on top of my health, if I know I'm going to have a big meal, either with family or going out for dinner, I will manage my meals beforehand or afterwards so that my energy balance is balanced so I'm not over consuming yeah. and it just keeps me on track of everything and helps me keep my health optimal. Karen, do you have any top tips for hitting your minerals and your vitamins in the autumn months? Yeah, I'd say sort of coming into autumn months, I'd say it's imperative to just boost your immunity. Yeah. So things like um, colds and viruses are always really high in the winter months. So I'd say sort of focus on um, things like mushrooms, which are very high on antiviral and antibacterial properties. Um, also avocados, blueberries, um, things like the white foods, cauliflower, um, white garlic, white beans, and they're all very good for antioxidants. And also things like sort of top up with vitamins such as vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin B1, B2 and 3. They're all very good and also echinacea, very good for winter months. How about you, Toby? So I always like to start my day with easy wins, which I think is especially important now as the days are getting shorter and a little bit colder. I always start my mornings with vitamins and I actually formulated my own vitamins as I used to take loads of different vitamins in the morning. I need vitamins to help support my hair and my skin as when I model and when I go to events I need to be looking the best I possibly can. So I actually created this brand earlier this year called HW Labs and these are my Fortify gummies and they have 100% of all the vitamins and all the minerals I need and it's only two instead of maybe what before I was taking six or seven or even eight vitamins every morning. So Karen, talk me through this summer summer smoothie yeah this is actually um i actually named this the summer pudding recipe because it was um on the back of the traditional sort of british summer pudding so i think it's full of it's raw it's vegan it's gluten-free um just with the add, added on of the gluten-free oats which um and then you've got the chia seeds which is high on vitamin b1 b2 and yeah. 3 and also potassium um, so I think it's great as a really nutritious sort of smoothie to have. So what ingredients do we have in it? So you've got all the summer berries, all the, summer berries. All the gluten free oats, yeah. chia seeds and just with a bit of, bit of um, agave maple syrup so you've got no refined sugar. Just blend it, yeah. put it in the glass and then you're done. And, that's it. done. and then it tastes nice, Simple. right? Yeah, it's really good. Okay. It's been great sharing this with you, Sherlux. For any more wellness content, um, tips and recipes, please go to www.karencrumshy.com or my page, which is at Karen Crumshy. Thank you so much, Sherlux, for having us. For any more tips, please visit my Instagram pages, either hw.labs or my personal account, thuntingtonwhiteley. Welcome back. Hope you found that useful. It looked amazing wherever they are. I need sun. Next up, SL's beauty contributor, Adiola Biega, is here to show us what products to enhance our body beauty routine. We always chat about the face, but actually, you want all of you to feel great. Take a look for some serious pampering inspo. Hey everyone, Adiola Biega here, beauty contributor for Sheer Lux. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my favourite products to give you that pampering experience and to leave you feeling sun-kissed, bronzed and ready to glow for the rest of the season. Now first up is exfoliation. You guys hear me talking about this all the time, especially when it comes to exfoliating my face, but when was the last time you exfoliated your body. Here are two of my favourites that I absolutely love. First off, I'm going to be talking about dry body brushing. It's such an important part of your beauty routine, especially when it comes to the body. Now, body brushing is amazing. I always tend to do it in the morning, just before I get into the shower. It's always very important to make sure that you're going in the direction of your heart. Always start maybe from your legs brushing upwards or your arms 
and actually you can see the dead skin just sloughing away when you're doing this. Next up is this scalp and body scrub from Away, which, oh my God, smells like a holiday destination. It has the most incredible fragrance. But what I love is that this is a dual purpose scrub that you can actually use through your scalp, but also for your body as well. It has the most incredible texture. It's a mixture of sugar and you've also got coconut oil in there. So it's super nourishing for the skin. But what is fantastic about this is that you can obviously use it for buildup of dead skin in your scalp if you suffer with, you know, dry, itchy scalp or if you've got a lot of product buildup, it's amazing. And we all know the mood boosting benefits that having a tan can have. There's nothing like having glowing, gorgeous and even skin. And actually, one of the things I never used to do, but I've actually started doing more uh, frequently, is self-tanning. Now, one of my favourite models, Ashley Graham, has collaborated with Saint Tropez to create this beautiful self-tan that works really well on all skin tones to promote you a very natural and even glow to the skin. And it's so important that you make sure you do the prep beforehand with exfoliation. Um, now, this is an amazing self-tanner and it's a really gorgeous luxury cream mousse. As you can see, I'm gonna pop a little bit on. I love this, look at that consistency, that perfect golden undertone which works really well for all skin tones. So you just want to take that and just kind of massage it all over the body and it lasts all day and all week and gives you this beautiful sort of streak free finish. Smells incredible, but just look at that already, you can just see the glow it's given the skin. Carrying on with the theme of using products to keep you feeling body confident, I want to tell you about S19 Body Makeup. Now, these have been an essential in my makeup kit as a makeup artist ever since I've had them, and they are fantastic. They come in a wide range of shades, um, great undertones to really match your skin perfectly, but they're fantastic if you do have some imperfections on your body, wherever that may be, that you just want to even out. Now, I use the shade Deep Tan, and what I really love about this is that it's actually infused with skincare. Now, for example, if you had any bruises or scars that you wanted to even out, I have a few stretch marks that I naturally just want to make more even and blend in with my skin. This is amazing. It's this gorgeous cream. You can also buy the body brush. And what you would do to apply it onto the skin, and look how it just helps to even out and give you more of a flawless look to your skin. I love that it's transfer and water resistant, so it's really good to help even out the skin but also hydrate at the same time. I have a body gloss, this is in the shade bronze. Now this is also gorgeous as well. If you're really looking to add that sort of illumination to your skin, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful, that is stunning. Just gives the most incredible glow um, and it's great to use on the body. Maybe you want to use it on your collarbone to give this beautiful glow to your skin as well. Next up, I want to talk all about body moisturisation and ensuring that you feel really pampered and giving you that very beautiful decadent experience from home. This is the Keys Soul Care line, actually formulated by Alicia Keys, um, and it's a really gorgeous, decadent body experience. There's the body butter, but then there's also the sacred oil. Now, moisturizing your skin on a regular basis is so important because our limbs, our feet, our legs, our arms, our hands especially can get dry. Look at this decadent body cream, which actually has a blend of cocoa and shea butters and a little goes a long way, you don't need a lot, but just applying that onto the body just gives the most incredible glow. Now, if you're looking for a lightweight body oil, then look no further than this sacred oil from Key Soul Care. What I love about this oil is that it's super lightweight, and I love that you've got this pipette action, which is great, so you're not using too much. What's fantastic about this body oil is that it's a dry body oil, so it doesn't feel greasy at all. 
And last but not least, I want to talk to you about these amazing masks from Soul Easter, particularly this one. This one's called Rosy Hands. It's an instant manicure. You get some gloves in here that are packed full of serum and then you leave it on for about half an hour and your hands feel gorgeously soft and moisturized and nourished as if you had a manicure. They even do a pair for your feet. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the rosy hands one. So here I have my gloves that I'm gonna put on. You leave these on for about half an hour and this just literally gives you that feeling of a manicure. And then once you've done that, you just secure that down and leave it on for half an hour. So in here, you've got Bulgarian rose oil, you've got vitamin C and you've got beeswax, all great nourishing products that really help to benefit the treatment of your hands and the moisturization of your hands as well. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed me sharing with you some of my favorite tips that really help to boost your glow this season, especially on your body, which we often neglect. We're so good at doing our face routine that actually we forget about, you know, doing our body. So even if you choose one or two of these sort of tips, make sure that you dedicate some time out for yourself for self-care. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So that is it for today. Thank you so much to Ebony, Bryony, Karen, Toby and Adiola and of course Tor and Polly. On the next show, we've got some more amazing content with the start of a new month. We have a new season fashion Q&A with Lou and Charlotte plus some new recipes from Bettina Compolucci Bordi from her new book Celebrate. Some beauty with a new skincare brand plus lots more. You will not want to miss it. In the meantime, if you love it, please do comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye.